What's up everyone? I'm Kyle from Driving and Vibing and you're watching Road Gear Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most common RV accessories out there when it comes to water filtration, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button because we put out videos every week about the best road gear and RV gear on the market. Today we are talking about the Camco Taste Pure water filter. Now if you have any familiarity of camping at RV parks, I'm sure you've seen these things around because they are everywhere. It is by no means the best filter out there, but I would say it is the most common and probably one of the easiest to use. But let's go and dive into some of the specs on this filter as far as what it filters out and how long it lasts. First off, this has a carbon filter. It's a 100 micron fiber barrier. It's used to protect against things like aluminum, bacteria, bad tasting water, chlorine, heavy metals, mold, and sedimentation. And as far as how long it lasts, everywhere online on the Camco site, Amazon, Walmart, Camping World, all I can find is that they say it lasts one camping season. Now, we'll talk about this a little bit more later on in the video, but it is discouraging not to be able to see how many gallons this is good for filtering or how many months it is meant to be used for other than an entire camping season. So some more things about what this Camco filter comes with is this flexible hose adapter. You can see it right here. I'm, this is pretty much all it is but it's used to screw in to the water filter and then you can screw it directly into your rig and what the hose does is just lets it be a little more flexible so if you're attaching it with the filter directly to the camper it doesn't just stick out at a 90 degree angle so whenever you are using this filter there is no assembly required and it's really easy to install all you do is screw the hose in and then screw it into your camper and then you have a water filter ready to use there's some debate whether you hook this on the front or the back end of the hose we found that it makes no real difference we hook it after the hose and directly into the camper because the hose might have seen some uh you know chemicals in its time it might have had some additional bacteria in there and we want to make sure that the last thing the water touches before it enters our camper is the filter but if you have a brand new hose then you know you could put it on the front of the hose connected to the city water and it would keep the hose clean as well it just depends how you feel about the hose you're using now we'll kind of talk about our own personal experience with this camco water filter first off i have to say we do love that it is made in the usa it is always nice to find and buy camping products that are made here in america so that is one plus the other plus is that it's pretty economical it's 25 bucks or less depending if you can find it on sale on Amazon and it's disposable now with the disposability of this product you also have to change it out on a regular basis they said that it's good for one camping season but as full-time RVers we don't really feel comfortable using one of these filters for longer than two months so we try to order it pretty regularly to keep the water tasting good and to make sure it's getting the proper filtration as far as this flexible hose that they include in the package it's been nice to give a little more flexibility whenever we hook it directly up to our rig but we've also noticed it is the first thing that breaks on the filter sometimes before the filters lifespan even because it will bend going into the camper like that we'll might notice some leaking around this point right here or sometimes it'll uh, break and leak towards the front of where it connects to the camper that's been an issue we do not like having water leaking out of our camper or any part that's hooked up to the camper so that's been a real pain in the rear end but I have to say we recently got this other Camco um, it's just an elbow right here and we hope that this helps expand the life of the flexible hose because what we do is just screw this in and then screw the adapter in so there's no awkward bending going on in potentially creating some leaks in this flexible hose part overall we have enjoyed the camco filter i do feel like we need a more permanent solution in the future but in the meantime it's been our go-to filter for the first two years on the road i wouldn't say that it is the permanent solution though so we are always looking 
for a more permanent water filtration system that lasts longer, that creates less trash by having to dispose these every two months. So if you have a solution or have any recommendations for a water filter that you've enjoyed, let us know. Let us know if you use this filter because we see them all throughout campgrounds in America. We've been happy with the filtration process it provides, but we know we can find a better option down the way. I'll link all the info for this filter below. I'd recommend it if you're a part-time camper, if you just camp seasonally, then this is a great tool for you. If you're a full-time RVer, this will still work, but you'll have to replace it more and more often. So it does have its benefits for sure. I'll link it all below. I'll include this elbow so you can get a little extended life out of the flexible hose edition. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching Road Gear Reviews. We do put out videos every Wednesday. Check back each week so you can stay on top of the best gear out there. Thanks for watching y'all and we'll see you next time.